All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So we just got a new data download on the global side of the game. So in this video, as always, we're going to take a look at uh, everything that we got together. Now, before we get into it, a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. He is getting very close to 6,000 followers. So let's get in there as soon as possible. Now, with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here and start with the uh, new missions for the 49th Battlefield, which is starting on, I believe, the 5th. Uh, let me see. So there's no date for the Battlefield, but most of these new events are dropping on December 5th. So I'm assuming the Battlefield is also coming out on the 5th. And from there, we have the new uh, Explosive Chain Battle versus the Fusion Zamasu. There is the Zamasu, as well as the missions, and once again, no date, but I'm assuming it's uh, December 5th as well. And after that, we have a new stage for Super Battle Road. This is stage 63, Battle of Wits only, and as you can see, it's available on December 5th at 6.30 a.m. GMT, or I believe that's 1.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. And we also have the Extreme Z Battle and Extreme Z Awakenings for the Rose and Zamasu. There is, or sorry, uh, not Rose and Zamasu, that's later. The, the LR uh, Rose and Zamasu is uh, probably uh, later this month, I think, or relatively soon, relatively soon. But this one is for the Tech Vegito Blue and the STR Rose. And I did make a video breaking down their full Extreme Z Battle event details and also their Extreme Z Awakening details, so if you guys want to go check that out, then I'll put a link somewhere over my head for that video. But uh, yeah, these guys are getting their Extreme Z Awakenings, these are the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Vegito Blue, these are the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the STR Rosé, and we also have some new tickets. So, there are two tickets in this data download, the first one is the Starry Winter Night regular ticket, which I'm assuming is for just summoning on that Starry Winter Night banner. And by the way, uh, if you guys aren't sure what this banner is, it's basically uh, gonna feature the LR Trunks and Vegeta, which is the new LR, along with the 7th Anniversary LRs, and also a bunch of other Dokkan Fest units. And that, that banner is also dropping on the 5th, and uh, this premium Starry Winter Night banner is going to be, um, you know, used for the same banner, except you're purchasing the you're purchasing these from the, uh, you know, pack shop in the stone, you know, shop area, right? So these are paid. These are pay to play. These will be. I'm not sure if free to play is the right term, but when you do summons with tickets, or sorry, uh, summons with stones you'll get some of these tickets to do some additional summons. So two different tickets, one is paid, one is for summoning, and then uh, also an Extreme Z Dokkan Fest ticket, which of course is gonna be for the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival banner featuring the Rose and the Vegito Blue. And it looks like there was also a quick update to the Korean Super Attack quote for the Int Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So, there you go, it does look very different. Um, there's definitely a change. Obviously, I can't read Korean, but um, yeah, I mean, maybe it's just a formatting thing. It might just be a formatting thing because the characters themselves look the same, right? Like the actual characters, I mean, they look identical to me, but it's just like laid out differently. So I'm not sure why they made that change, but there you go. And uh, that's essentially the video, guys. There's not much more to talk about. Like I said, I already went through the details for the Rose and Zamasu. Why do I keep saying that? The Rose and the Vegito Blue in a video earlier today. So definitely check that out if you guys uh, want to know everything about them. And uh, as far as the other events go, I will be making videos for them when they come out. Just, you know, running through them, uh, showing you guys how I clear them and all that stuff. But that's for later. And uh, I might do a pass or pull for the Starry Winter Night banner, we'll see. Um, I know some people have been asking whether I feel like that banner is worth spending stones on, if it's worth summoning on, and uh, I'm not going to go into too many details right now, but I do think that they're making it pretty enticing with like 
uh, you know, supposedly three plus one discounts, as well as, you know, the tickets for summoning, and also uh, the rainbow tickets, of course, are free to play, right? So if you guys are doing the missions, you should have 21 rainbow tickets when that banner drops. So of course do those, because those are free summons right there. But uh, yeah, it's pretty enticing. It's it's pretty enticing. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. A uh, big shout out once again to Proton for providing us with the assets. Go follow him. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. And if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.